Hey, what's happening, you guys? This is Coach Joel with Icon Fitness, and I'm going to take you through the new version or platform of Whoop. If you are new to this platform, there is a lot of information to be able to go through, and I'm going to take you through it. So if, you, if we start off at the very bottom, you can see these different tabs. So this is our home tab. So this is what's going to pop up on any given day when it comes to your data. On here, you can see a couple different things. If we look at this ring up above, it's gonna show you your recovery. Right below that is gonna be your HRV. If we go to the right of the circle, it will show your daily strain and then the calories that you have burned thus far. It will also show you, if you click on the W itself, it will show you what you should be building towards when it comes to your uh, optimal strain for the day. So this is your home page. What you can also see here is that you have uh, sleep, and if you did an activity, such as you know, working out or running, um, walking, playing football, golfing, that activity would show up. Now, if you did an activity, and you didn't, it isn't showing up, this little guy that looks like he's doing a jumping jack, you can click on here and you can put in what time that you did your activity, both the end time, and then you can pick whatever sport or activity that you did. Pop up, make sure to record that activity because you're gonna want that information. Right next to that jumping jack guy is your journal. If you click on that little button, it'll have your journal. This is uh, my journal from the last night. I said I went to bed late because I watched the cell in Sanford, um, which are uh, my nieces and nephews. And I also had food late and watched TV all the way up until bedtime. The reason that I record those things on my journal is that I can go back and be able to see my data and how it uh, differed from me having a late meal or not late meal, so on and so forth. So from here, this is where you can see your sleep. If you click on these little dots, show you your light, your REM, and your slow wave sleep. It will give you a little information up here above and you can also edit it if you need to edit your sleep Say you didn't catch your sleep at the right time, you laying in bed or getting up, you can adjust that sleep accordingly. All right. Now, from here on this main page, the bottom tab, right? Oops. You're going to have your strain if you slide to the left right or pull to the to the uh, left which is going to pull you to the right so you're going to see your strain here with your strain you can then swipe up now you have these different categories for your strain that is measuring if you actually click on the screen it will show you the numbers same with your average heart rate and calories burned and pull those numbers up or not we can then pull over to our recovery if we go down, it's going to show us our recovery throughout the week, both our HRV, our resting heart rate, and our respiratory rate. These are things to be able to follow and for us to be able to track to see if we are recovering correctly and we are making the appropriate changes to have that type of recovery. One more slide over is gonna get you to your sleep. Again, if you slide up, it's gonna give you the different tabs that you can click on, hours of sleep versus need, time spent in bed. This is gonna show you your consistency, what time are you getting in bed, what time are you getting up, your sleep performance, so on and so forth. On sleep performance here, you can click on the sleep need and it will kind of give you a breakdown of your recent strain, sleep debt, whether you need more nap, uh, more sleep, so on and so forth. Here, clicking on hours of sleep is going to take you back to that same one that we had on the home page on the very beginning. Sleep. So again, this is your main page. Through. And if you're
you're working with me, these are going to be some of the things I'm going to want you to take screenshots of so that I can see your information and how you're trending throughout the week. This is this is where you're going to find your coaching page. So they're going to give you kind of different ideas of what your strain should be, your optimal strain. They're going to give you suggestions on what time you should go to sleep. If you click on that, like I just did earlier, you can adjust or change what your wake up normal wake up time. It will tell you what your sleep time is. If you have, want to have certain days that you want to get by or peek at, it, if you click on it, it will show you, oh, wait a second, this is what time you need to go to bed if you're wanting to peek. If I just want to get by, that's what time it's going to show me of what time I need to go to bed. Okay, if we slide back, then we have our weekly and monthly assessments. Your weeklies are always going to be delivered on Monday. And they're going to give you the information kind of on a data point for the week. This is really good information that you can share um, with me. Again, screenshot and being able to send. Always at the end, they're going to give you some type of uh, a comparison in your same age range. But for most part, they're going to tell you about your sleep and your training, your daily strain. If we go back, you can also pull up your monthly performance assessment. This is, again, if you're working with me, where we're going to go dive a lot deeper into the data that we have here to be able to check it out. But that's a whole nother ball game. This is where you would see uh, your strain. So we can see what my heart rate is right now. If I started doing a workout, I could start recording this. It would end up showing me my um, heart rate and my strain while I'm actually working out. This is your team. If you're working with me with the 12 week icon, you're going to be on the 12 week icon or after the 12-week icon, you can join the rest of the community with the icon athlete. So there you go. That is a rundown, um, quick kind of rundown. If you have more inf or questions about this, feel free to let me know. Remember, this is your where you're going to be spending most of your time. You can click on darn near anything when it comes to this, and it's pretty interactive. If you ever want to look back, you can click on the one at the top and you can look back at different days as well. So there you go. There you have it. If you have more questions, reach out. Let me know. I'll talk to you soon.